it gives me a great pleasure to be one of the speakers of the seminar, and I hope that my speech will be a chance to clarify many facts about the current situation in the occupied land and the everyday life of Palestinians. But before I start, allow me first to thank the state of Finland for all the support shown through the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, especially the last gesture Finland showed when voting in favor of admission and full membership of Palestine in the United Nations. Educational, Scientific and Culture Organization, UNESCO. When other neighboring countries voted against and other abstain, Finland has been a true friend for the Palestinian and defender of their rights. Finland has lately also upgrading Palestinian status to Palestinian mission. Dear guest, despite the historic compromise made by the Palestinian Liberation Organization in 88, when it agreed to recognize Israeli sovereignty over 78% of historic Palestine. And after 23 years later, Palestinians are still striving for an independent state over only 22% of their historic homeland. Palestinian and United Nations. United Nations, Secretary General Benny Ban Ki Moon said in 2007, the Palestinian people still yearn for the freedom and dignity denied them for decades. The Israeli people yearn for long-term security, neither can achieve their legitimate demands without a settlement of conflict. So it is, it, it is found the solution. The solution, we must find settlement between Palestinians and Israelis to live side to side. It, so it is easy. But why the war not making until now? Why? Today we are a critical juncture and efforts to move beyond crisis management and renew efforts towards genuine conflict resolution. The UN has been helping the Palestinians for over 50 years. And, and UNRWA and UNDP, UNICEF, UNIFEM. I want to mention that for Finland, th thank you for Finland, they are helping the Palestinians from 52. They gave money for, for education and for, for, for healthy for all refugees from 52. Thank for Finland for that. And by this year, the witness set back in support UN being offered in the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas applied to the UN General Assembly last September of the full membership of the pressure from some parties that do not we can't independence state. So now uh, our demand is, will be in the, in the uh, United Nations and we hope that we will, uh, okay, we, because we, we, we can't uh, follow all the subject. I have now, I want to speak the last things about, about EU. The European Union has been playing a very important role in the Middle East peace process, and many absences of the role endangers the whole process and all what have been achieved, so excluding at the recent setbacks. This role is gaining a great importance in the light of the weakness of the America history, role that overshadowed with Unreservable bias against the Palestinian rights. Mrs. Ashton made the following statement. I am deeply 
concerned by the latest Israeli decisions to expedite settlements, activities in response to Palestinian accession to UNESCO. Israeli settlement activity is illegal under international law, including in, in East Jerusalem, and an obstacle to peace we have stated this many times before. We call on an Israel reverse this decision and call uh, on both sides to continue the engagement with the quartet advancing peace efforts. So the EU recognized there is uh, something against the international law and they will uh, try to, to find uh, compromise with the, with the other country to find solution in our area. And that's, uh, before I finish this uh, seminar, I want to say we, uh, we are the Palestinian, we make two things. We, we make compromise uh, between us and we uh, propose the Israelis 22 and 78, as, as I mentioned. And like Arabic countries, we make also the Arabic initiative. And until now, we didn't receive any answer from another side.